Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and in this session we will be talking about how we can select multiple data points using rectangular lasso. So now let's get started. First of all, let me explain you why we need to use rectangular lasso. Let's say for an example, this is my line chart and this is my table. Now I want to implement cross filtering over here. Let's say I want to select multiple data point. At that time, I can simply use this rectangular lasso to select multiple data points over here. That will automatically cross filter my data like this. So now let me explain you how we can use this feature with the Power BI desktop report. So now let's get started. Rectangular lasso for data point is a preview feature. So first of all, make sure that you have enabled your preview feature using options and setting. Go to options and setting and click on options. Go to preview features. Make sure you have enabled data point rectangular select. Click on OK and close your Power BI desktop and reopen your desktop. Now let's place one line chart and one table over here. And now let's check cross filter highlighting. Let's say for an example in Power BI desktop, if we want to select multiple data point and want to cross filter using the visual, how can we do that? Place control key and drag over the data point. You can see that I have selected this many of data point and my table has been filtered according to that. Now I am again pressing control and select this many of data point. What will be happen? It will deselect already selected data points and it select the data point which are not earlier selected. So this is something which can be done with the control plus track. Now let's say for an example, I am clicking anywhere over here to remove the multiple data point. And let's say if I want, if I'm pressing shift plus track, then what happened here is look, two data points has been selected. Now again, I am pressing shift plus select. Then it is selecting another data points like this and cross filtering with all the data points. Now let's say I am selecting everything again. So it will not remove, it will not deselect the data points. It will select all the data points. So what is the basic difference between control plus select and shift plus select? Control plus drag will remove the previous operation while shift plus drag will always remain the previous selection plus in addition it will select more data points. Now let's publish the report and check the report in Power BI service. This is my Power BI service and you can see the report in the view mode. Now in the view mode we do not need to press control key or shift key over there. We can simply select the data points using the drag operation. And here you can see that data points has been selected and cross filtering has been performed. If I want to select multiple data point on the service, you need to press shift key and drag and it will select multiple data point like this. This is how we can select multiple data point using rectangular lasso in Power BI. Now let me talk about limitation of this feature. At this moment, this rectangular select is supported with line, area and scatter chart. At this moment, you can select maximum 300 data point at a time. This feature is available for service only if you have enabled preview feature in your Power BI desktop. So make sure you have enabled this feature for your Power BI desktop report. Hope this is clear for you now. If you have any question related to this rectangular lasso, you can add your questions in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.